Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Terrence Crawford should become three-time undisputed. That's what the word is. Become three-time undisputed. And then he can go on and get the money that he wants. All he's got to do is fight little boots in us. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I, I don't know if it makes a difference if Crawford goes and becomes three-time undisputed. I mean, I'm with you. He beats Boots, right? Which is not an easy fight, but I think he beats him. But he beats Boots. And then what? He comes now and says, okay, I'm three times undisputed. Here I am, Canelo. Here I am, World. Uh, here I am, Saudi. Uh, if you want to see the three times undisputed fight, you got to give me three times the most money I've ever made in my boxing career. Uh, here, I, here I am. I'm ready to go. You need me. I'm three times undisputed. You know what that means? That don't mean shit. It doesn't change the fact that no one likes Terrence Crawford. Nobody wants to support him. No one wants to watch him fight. It's just like, okay, cool. Box check. They'll talk about it for a couple weeks. It'll fizzle out. He's not marketable. No one wants to see him. And I'm, and, and, and I'm telling you that because I just think it's horrible that he's fans anyway are trying to map out what he should do next. And it's not something that he wants to do. And, you know, it makes you wonder if the Secret Society planned it like this and say, hey, we're going to force him a direction he doesn't want to go. Make him fight this guy Boots. If he wants to become undisputed and stay at 147, all you got to do is fight Jerron, the boogeyman, Boots, Ennis. Just go fight him, bud. Because trying to become undisputed in another weight class, is it that you want to do it in another weight class or that you want to be three times undisputed? Because if it's you want to be three times undisputed, the secret society, we planned it to where all you got to do is just say, Jerron, boogeyman, Boots, Ennis. Three times. Say it, bud. And then you can be in the ring with them in a couple months fighting for your third undisputed distinction. But he's not going to do that. Because I think even Crawford knows. Just like what he said about hell, all y'all going to say is when I beat Spence since he was whatever, you know, you're going to have excuses for him, right? And that's what happened. And if he goes and beats Boots, they're going to make excuses. He becomes three times undisputed. No one's going to give a shit. Now, let, let, let Earl Spence come back, fight Blair Cobb, and beat Blair Cobb. Oh, the world's going to go turn upside down. Oh, Blair, Earl Spence is back. He looked phenomenal. He got in there with Blair Cobb, who's a formidable opponent. Have you seen Blair Cobb even in his loss to Alexis Rocher? Blair Cobb showed that he had the skill, speed, power. He had counter-punching ability. Blair Cobb has improved his win over Maurice Hooker. This is just what you could say is Earl Spence getting his get back for Dallas. Earl Spence, you know, Blair. all of that bullshit as a result of Earl Spence if he were to fight and defeat Blair Cobb. To that I say, hold your horses. Let's not take it to the stupid. Don't get me wrong, I think Blair Cobb's the best boxer pound for pound out there right now. You know, I like Blair Cobb, but he, Earl Spence, that's not the fight he needs. So I don't know what the hell Terrence Crawford's going to do. But this thing about three times undisputed, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of like somebody beating, I mean, Keith Thurman right now. It's a good feather in the cap. But what does that win really do for you? You know what I'm saying? It's like Boots in this. Don't get me wrong, you know what? If you follow what I'm saying, I'm talking about the name. It's a good name to have, but what does a win over Keith Thurman do for anyone right now? What does a win over Boots Sinners do? Who's Boots Sinners? He's a, he's a nobody. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. I think Boots Sinners is, is the man, but for the most part, he's a nobody. But this is what he needs, an opportunity like fighting Terrence Crawford to become a somebody. And Crawford kind of needs him too to be to maybe, maybe finally become a somebody in the sport of boxing. And what I mean by that is to get paid the money he wants, but I don't know what Crawford's going to do. I personally think he should retire because he has no options. The, the, as every day passes, to me, the rea Crawford's reality becomes more and more clear 
that he should fight Boots Ennis. Like he really has nowhere else to go. Because that three times undisputed may, may sound real good. And then may, maybe that's enough to help promote a fight for him to, going for his fourth undisputed distinction, how he just clipped a young, strong Boots Ennis. And now he can be like, can that do like Mike Tyson? Lennox, I'm coming for you. He can say, Canelo, I'm coming for you. And maybe he gets the fight. But I don't know about all that. So we'll, we'll just have to wait and see, right? Anyway, y'all keep cool. Shout out to the veterans, all seven continents. Breeze.